regular season finale for the Liberty Flames who needed a win to clinch a share of the Big South Conference Championship would be their fifth in six years. Flames coming off a big win against Stony Brook, forced five turnovers against the Seawolves. They start this game, however, with an early turnover. Josh Woodrum's pass picked off by Mike Smith. Take it back 22 yards to the Liberty 32. Sets up a short field for VMI. Very next play, the Keydets cash in. Eric Cordenbrock finds his senior wide receiver, Aaron Lewis, down the sideline, 32 yards for the touchdown. VMI with the early 7-0 lead after the PAT over Liberty. Second quarter, though, the Flames got it going offensively with a nine-play 51-yard drive capped here by the Sir Chauncey Holloway touchdown run. Three yards for the score. Flames had the PAT blocked, though, and trailed 7-6. Flames defense gets a three and out on the next series, and then Liberty gets another senior into the end zone here. First and goal from the VMI 7. Woodrum finds Justin Gunn, the tight end, puts Liberty in front 13-7 at the break. VMI 0-8 when trailing at halftime this year. Third quarter. Liberty goes to the ground. Now Dracus Allen makes the first guy miss, and it's off to the races. 31 yards before he's finally taken down at the VMI 11. Third and five now from the six. They give to Allen again, scampering around the left side. Hit at the one, but so much determination. Allen falls across the goal line for the score. Touchdown, Liberty. Flames go up 19-7. Next VMI possession, though, the Keydets would not go away. They're down to the Liberty Six. Eric Kortenbrock hooks up with his tight end, Mario Thompson. Thompson had a drop earlier in the game. Takes this one into the end zone, though, six yards for the touchdown. VMI now down five, 19-14. Fourth quarter now, VMI driving again. It's a fourth and two in Liberty territory. Kortenbrock going for Thompson again. Went to the well one too many times. Brent Vinson with the coverage. And the senior from Charlotte gives Liberty the ball back from its own 36. VMI wanted a flag on that last play, didn't get it. They did get one on this play, but not in the way they wanted it. Josh Woodrum hooking up with Elliot Dutra for nine yards. Dutra hit late out of bounds. Tack on the penalty yards, gets the ball all the way up to the VMI 40-yard line. 15 yards on the personal foul. Flames set up shop. Second and goal from the VMI nine. Flames give it back to Allen, who turns the corner and stretches to the end zone for the touchdown. Second of the game for Aldrikas, finished with 99 yards on the ground, making him the 10th player in program history to have a 1,000-yard rushing season. Starting to slip away for VMI, a second and six from its own 29. Kordenbrock drilled by Demetrius Ward, coughs up the football, and it's Toby Onichi coming out with it for the Flames. Liberty takes over deep in VMI territory. Down to the one, the Flames give it to the senior, Sir Chauncey Holloway, for his second rushing touchdown of the day. Holloway finished with 64 yards on 17 carries and two scores. Flames pulling away. They can smell the championship now. It's 33-14. Corden Brock knocked out after that last sack. They go to the backup, A.J. Augustine. Gets it down to the Liberty 20, but he's picked off in the end zone here by Sori Bayou. First career interception for Bayou, and the Flames are celebrating a championship. 33-14 the final score. Liberty wins its fifth Big South Conference title in six seasons. They finish six and five for their seventh straight winning season, and Liberty ends the 2012 campaign having won six of its last seven games. Not bad for a team that started 0-4. I have great character. Uh, that's the only way you can have uh, winning six out of 11, seven games is having great character. I think also a great leadership of our players, our coaching staff, um, administration, uh, Chancellor Falwell Jr. Uh, giving us an opportunity to be here. Uh, athletic director there, Jeff Barber, appreciate all the support and things that he does and all the other support staff. And so our players really have a lot of resiliency. Uh, they had a lot of belief. Uh, and again, we just give all the honor to God and our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We appreciate him always being there for us, and we just are uh, trying to do our part. Uh, cried a little bit during the game, but um, I'm sure once everybody's kind of gone and I'm walking the field or in the locker room, it'll kind of set in or riding the bus. Um, it'll definitely set in then, and, and I'm sure the tears will come. But um, just really proud of these guys, and, and I'm glad we could go out like this. Uh, I mean, it's definitely hard when you start 0-4, but I give a – a great deal of uh, a shout out to the seniors. I mean, they really, they really stayed on us, made sure we stayed together, didn't go in any other pass, and uh, they did a great job doing that, and uh, it's a great win.